Godav gang, good afternoon, or depending where you are at, just good, 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 good day, okay? Let's go ahead and get started and get to the details of today. Now, before y'all start y'all shit, I had the adult today. Let's not forget that I'm a mom, so I got stuff to do. I actually got to keep my shit together, okay? So I can come back here and talk to y'all. All right, so... We already knew that this was happening, but I figured I'd give y'all an update just to start the day off. We're going to softball it in, get into the nitty gritty. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It's still stuff that all circulate around each other, so that's why you like, it's it's stuff, okay? We get into the stuff. So, um, Western food brand see profit tank due to the boycott for Israeli ties. Um, what I didn't know was Coca-Cola, Pepsi, um, I knew KFC and McDonald's and Starbucks was suffering, but Coca-Cola and Pepsi, y'all had us fooled. Y'all had us fooled. Show us them quarterly reports. I need a CQ too. Because I have a feeling that you've been purposely quiet for no reason and not for no good on reason, but literally no reason. You have no chances of coming back from that BS, especially after that commercial that y'all leaked. That was some BS. They tried to say that it was like an AI generated commercial, but when I watched it several times, no, it was not. Y'all definitely planned on leaking that commercial or at least running that commercial. But when it got leaked by somebody on the inside, y'all created a lie and tried to say that, oh, it was just some no it wasn't and remember a couple days ago yesterday i think it was it literally forever i've been telling y'all that they've been going broke left and right yes they still going broke left and right so america is not giving them this ammunition out of the kindness of their own heart and i feel like that's a common misconception that we genuinely think is going on here no ma'am they both are just moving money back and forth they're just moving money back and forth. They don't have no more money. Yet. So what they did was they ran up to, ran up into Gaza and some of the shops in the West Bank. They confiscated $27 million from the Palestinian Authority in Ramallah, accusing them of supporting terrorists. Why? Because they don't have no money. Yet. Okay, so this is what Ben Smolster said. He said, the fight against terror is not only a military one, but also includes combating the PA's rampant incitement and terror the terror funds that allocate to families of terrorists, which is crazy because Hamas don't fuck with the PA like that. So who you talking about? Who this for, Ben? Now, obviously, I couldn't pull up to the set without no proof, but for those of y'all that need it, this is on Practice Redacted. News that comes down from the Politico, okay? A, a, a source, okay? It's a source. It's a bit biased, but it's a source. Um, Politico states, Israel is suffering a shortage of ammunition needed to repel an expected major attack from Iran and Hezbollah. Baby, the way Iran and Hezbollah got the whole world on their toes, they got y'all ready to jump the shit out of me because i have updated y'all damn i still gotta pay y'all know it's the beginning of the month right i gotta pay bills my baby want to do dance class y'all bugging because right now me and ben smaltrich we looking the same we we eye to eye with it we up fuck creek with no paddle right now that man broke it in the joke do you understand what i'm saying so he running up and everybody said stealing their money on because they got to pay America for that ammunition or they got to pay somebody. Somebody finna get them uh, shackles. Somebody finna get them shackles. Do you hear what I'm saying? They need some more stuff. Now, didn't y'all say that y'all was prepared? Didn't y'all say that y'all was ready? So y'all running up into everybody else's set and it turns out that you don't got nothing? Baby, this is, um, this is sad. So basically right now the whole area is tense. Like everybody is on go. They in double dutch position. They ready for whatever. They ready to run it up. My bad, y'all. The sun, like, you know, I shine. I shine like the sun. Um, they ready to they ready to throw them hands right now. Everybody is like, listen, I'm ready to do whatever. Let me know what it is, and we can get it talking. So right now, a Hezbollah source tells the cradle that Iran, Lebanon, and Yemen will launch simultaneous retaliatory strikes against Israel. But they again. They messing with Israel and America. They never actually telling y'all when it's going to happen. And intended to overwhelm the Iron Dome. Let's wait and see. Again, they keep, like, even today, Nasrullah gave a speech. And he still never said when it's going to happen. Like, the psychological damage that they doing to them, baby, it's worse than, it's, <laughs> when it happens, when it happens to you, we don't want to hear it. 
But wait, there's more. So this morning, they were awakened the Chalkzonians yet again in Kiryashimonia and several different parts of Northern Chalkzonia. Um, damn, that just, that just rolls off the tongue. Like, from now on, they call Chalkzonia. Don't call them nothing else but Chalkzonia, period. Um, sirens ring continuously in Shalomi. Um, Naria, Na Nahoria, Nahoria. Child, they don't ever get our names right. And settlements in northern Acha do Acha Acha. Due to the fears, one of them cities, due to the fears of resistance drone infiltration. So basically, they on their toes, biting their nails. They feel some type of way. Like, when is it going to happen? Aren't they supposed to tell us when it's going to happen? And everybody like, nah, babe, that's the game. That's how it's played. Like, you didn't read the rules before y'all decided to play. Missile sirens also sounded in and near here, wherever that place is, and surrounding the settlement. So basically, the same sentiment that Hezbollah has been doing this entire time, they, oh yeah, they made sure that control variable was still going, baby, that them rockets was still flowing. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's always going to be beef, but it's going to be worse R in a little bit. But don't worry about it because you're still getting your ass whooped, you know, the, the usual way. You shouldn't be any more upset than you usually are, but there will be more is what he's saying. There will be more, like a lot more. So here's a little bit of footage of that. There was a base, a military base that was actually targeted. Again, remember, when Nazareth send the missiles, they're usually two specific targets, okay? He's doing something, you know what I mean? So it's going to make sense later on. So as you can see, there are the drones that he sent over. He sent over three drones, three drones this morning that conveniently looked just like one of them drones that was shot down. But, um... Again, they make their own drones too, so it, it could be by design. The attack ooh. Wait a minute, was that was was that a real moment realization? Nasrala, you ate that up. Did you purposely make your drones look exactly like ours? Whoa. It's giving whoa, hold on. The symbolism. Come on now. The attacks came hours after several people were killed in an Israeli drone strike in southern Lebanon. But it's okay, though. Don't worry about it because they got their look back. Lives were taken. So earlier today, four people were killed in um, an Israeli drone strike in southern Lebanon. Um, the names haven't come out yet, but I will release them in a later video. However, um, those lives that were martyred... Um, God rest their soul. Make sure y'all keep their names in your doers tonight because, listen, this whole area is going to need our strength in our prayers right now because it's, like I say, it's literally like they all, like, dogs ready to come off the chain i hate to compare them to that because they're not dogs like they're human beings but the energy right now these is people ready to get their lick back like they foaming at them out to get their lick back and the fact that they so like cool calm and collected and poised and they're just moving forward with just doing like actual like detailed focus strikes right now that lets you know like they on their way to something major like they're so methodical with the way that they moving right now Y'all, I, there's no other explanation other than the fact that y'all fell right into their trap. And every time we thought we was on the edge of their seat, like they was about to lose, it's like, boom, it just unlocked a whole new lever, level of military strategy. See, that's the thing. The whole time we thinking like, oh, this is all the tricks that they got in their leg or not me, y'all. Um, because I knew Hezbollah was never going to give up. That's Mr. I ain't letting shit slide. Do you see me? And Iran, right now, everybody know who KK is because my big mouth been running. Um, so now it's like, okay, it's either this or that. They gotta, they gotta do you in. Like once you disrespect, they gotta do you big dog. You should never did it. And as you can see, they had to do you filthy. They had to do you in, baby. You said it was static. And you sent some shots their way, so it was only right that at the same time, you called yourself sending shots. They had to send them things right back at you. Fa, fa, fa. Who shot ya? I'm just saying... You can't get mad at the game, baby. I mean, don't get mad at the get, don't get mad at the player. Get mad at the game, cause you just did the same thing. We just saw four Lebanese people that got martyred as a result. Don't get mad at the player, baby. Teach your niggas how to squabble. That's what you do. Because these are the four individuals that whose lives were taken. I'm sorry, five five individuals whose lives were taken in the West Bank today, and two of them are brothers, and they were done by the IDF. So y'all can't get mad, okay? Because this baby, that's how the game is played. You just need to teach your niggas how to wobble, okay? Because they took a few of y'all out on their way out. So keep them in your duos too, and be patient because part two is coming up.